this week. Yes, Miss Molly, Molly Real is live in West Sacramento where she's getting a taste of some guilt free cocoa. Hi, Molly. Mm hmm. Yes. Heavy on the guilt free, you guys. You know, <laughs> they actually told me I don't have to wear these glasses in this exactly. section, but I thought it looked sciencey and it this has a lot of science. We are at California Cultured. It is in West Sacramento and it is the world's largest lab grown chocolate facility. Uh, if you missed the eight o'clock hour, we were talking about how not only is this good for the planet, uh, it eliminates deforestation and child labor that comes with cacao industry, uh, but it's also better for you. Uh, so we learned a little bit about the science, you know, starts in a petri dish like this. And Steve, we're getting to the really sweet part of things, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> if you could imagine a single origin grown chocolate that's made here in California. Okay, so we're in a petri dish. What takes it from the petri dish to this uh, dehydrated cacao we're seeing here? Yeah, so what we do is we take cacao cells that have been cultured for a number of weeks and we take them through the chocolate making process, which involves fermentation and roasting, is what you see here with the finished roasted cells. And then it goes into this machine? That's correct. So we would take those cells, they would be thrown into a melanger, which is a traditional chocolate grinder. And from here, they get grinded up into very fine particle sizes, which Create a very smooth texture on the on the tongue. Okay, now we have the the money shot, right? We can pour some of that chocolate. Yeah, so this is some <laughs> finished chocolate that we've taken straight out of the melanger here. So I'm just going to show kind of like how chocolate gets molded throughout the process. So we would just pour it into the mold for finished chocolate after it's been tempered. Okay. Now, let's talk about the flavor. This company started about two years ago. You said when it first started, you created chocolate, real chocolate. It didn't taste good. Two years in, it's real chocolate. It tastes okay. In about two years, when you expect to sell it commercially, it's going to be divine. And I have to tell you guys, he has some credibility. Used to be an R&D chef at Noma in Copenhagen Ooh. when it was the world's number one restaurant. So if anyone can vouch for the flavor of things, it is this guy right here. I'm going to take a bite and tell people what it's like, but tell us about the future, what you plan for. Yeah, sure. So what we've been working on here is a, is a prototype dark chocolate. It's about 75%, so you're getting a lot of chocolatey notes. We're still really wanting to work on making it indistinguishable from a Hershey's chocolate bar, which is in the future for us when we can finally go commercial and get approval from the FDA. Okay, I think it's delicious. This is fantastic. I'm so excited for the future of chocolate. Well, we're gonna keep uh, updated with you guys, see what you're up to. They also have coffee they're working on too, so uh, this will not be the last we will hear from California Culture. Congratulations. Thank you. Some sweet science for you guys. Sweet science. <laughs> Very cool. That's good.